Bradley Cooper's biopic mines the many tensions of Leonard Bernstein's life in pursuit of high art. Here's what's fact and what's fantasia. Leonard Bernstein, perhaps the best-known mid-century American conductor, is having a bit of a moment. There was last year's tar, in which he was referred to as the mentor role model inspiring the would-be conductor, and now with Maestro, he has a biopic of his very own, directed, co-written with Josh Singer by, and starring Bradley Cooper. The film starts with a quote from Bernstein, a work of art does not answer questions, it provokes them, and its essential meaning is in the tension between the contradictory answers. The primary tension Maestro is interested in exploring is between Bernstein's loving and committed marriage to actress Felicia Montelegre, which produced three children he was devoted to and his complex sexual identity, which included relationships with many men. A secondary tension is between Bernstein the conductor, who enjoys public acclaim and is a self-confessed people person, and Bernstein the composer, who requires solitude in which to work. Finally, there is the tension between Bernstein the composer of acclaimed musicals like West Side Story and the Bernstein who dismisses this work as lightweight and feels he should be devoting himself to composing serious symphonic works although his efforts in this area are generally met with less acclaim. But as Felicia says after watching a wonderful rehearsal of the ballet Fancy Free, which provided the basis for the musical Wonderful Town and its film adaptation on the town, why would you want to give this up? With a relentless focus on the marital relationship, Cooper dispenses with many of the traditional biopic whistle stops. Anyone who was interested in either Bernstein's or Montelegre's backgrounds had better play close attention to a scene where they retreat to a quiet room at a party and rattle off each other's minibios at speed. The two get engaged and suddenly it's four years later, and we're in the family apartment where the actual Edward R. Murrow is on the soundtrack, listing Lenny's career achievements as part of an introduction for a television interview. The same device is used later when a journalist recounts the now 50-something Bernstein's later resume to him as part of a pitch to write a biography.